Welcome to the Test Academy of Family. In this video lesson, we would go through some top 10 tips for Band 8 Plus in the speaking module of IELTS. Now let's go through the strategy one. Be audible, loud and clear. Oral fluency is a very important criteria to get a good band. So be fluent and liberated. Speak from the heart and avoid pauses as that would reduce your band. All your speaking tests are recorded so therefore it's important to be loud and clear because if the examiner is not able to get the words he will not be able to make up his mind on what band he should give you strategy number two use variety of vocabulary use different sentence structures and different ways to uh, say the same thing by using different word forms etc so that the examiner feels confident and is impressed about your understanding on the language and you can get a good band on the basis of an important evaluation parameter of lexical resource and if you use a variety of vocabulary that will definitely reduce the monotony in your speaking and that would engage the examiner actively in the conversation Strategy number three is try to be grammatically correct and use words appropriately because if your words, phrases and points are not well connected, then the exact meaning will not be intended and examiner might misinterpret what you have said. That would definitely reduce your band. Strategy number four, listen to the questions carefully before you start answering them. So a lot number of times the students interrupt the examiner and they start answering the questions or they just listen to some part of the question and they start answering immediately. That would uh, probably hinder the understanding of the question and they might misunderstand the question and answer wrongly. Sometimes the candidate you know, answers the questions in monosyllables like yes, no, even that should be avoided. You should speak complete sentences and you should show your expertise and hold over the language. Do not hesitate to ask the examiner to repeat the question. If you have any doubt about the question, do not, you know, keep a long pause or do not answer incorrectly because that will not give you a second chance at all. Do not feel shy. Examiner is there to help you and he will always be friendly with you. Enjoy the conversation with him. Clarify your doubts. He will definitely rephrase the question and give additional information if needed, but he will never change the question. So you can always clarify if you have any uh, doubt on any particular word in the question or if you don't understand it, but be sure that you answer correctly and confidently. Strategy number six, extend your speech. Do not speak in single words or monosyllables, but be sure to speak relevantly. So it's very important to give little bit of explanation on the answers. And uh, but at the same time, you have to ensure that you speak relevant to the topic and do not go off topic. Extra and additional information will not reward you, but rather it would penalize you because examiner might get disinterested as it is not you know, suitable to the topic. Strategy number seven, speak with emotion. Do not get robotic as if you've learned the answers by heart, but at the same time, do not overdo the emotions. There should be some intonation in your speech and the pitch of the voice would help examiner relate to what you're saying. So if you speak with emotions, you'll be able to relate with the examiner and that should give a good impression about your speaking. Be coherent, use appropriate linkers and structures. Usage of phrases would definitely enrich your speech. And that's a very important strategy number eight. So all your points should be well connected. You should speak in a very structured manner. You should not have abrupt beginning or ending. Otherwise, examiner will not be able to connect all the points together. And the most important tip is that you can only get a high band in speaking and writing if the examiner is convinced with your answer and he is impressed with your answer. So your answers should appear, you know, convincing to him and all the points and the words should be well connected so that the flow of the thoughts is, you know, I mean, goes about smoothly to convey the exact meaning as you wanted to. 
strategy number nine make a first good impression especially with the first round so that the examiner feels good about your speaking and goes forward with a positive uh, impression about you strategy number 10 which is the most important one if you made a mistake do not panic do not give a long pause or do not lose hope you should gather your courage and start immediately if you have any doubt please feel free to clarify your doubts and correct yourself with little bit of apology like i beg your pardon i'm sorry um, i would just you know rephrase it as or i would like to correct myself but get started immediately and most important tip stay confident be fluent and liberated and no one can stop you to get a good band in speaking so all these strategies are discussed in depth in our IELTS you know pre-recorded videos where all the responses of many of our students are also recorded with the band that those responses would get so that helps you understand the evaluation parameter and how a band 5.5 or a band 6 or a 6.5 7 8 can be you know uh, differentiated from one another if you know how to evaluate your responses you definitely know what kind of mistakes should be avoided and how you can work on them towards your dream score of band 9 i hope this video was useful and that would help you uh, understand the concepts better if you have any doubt please click onto the button below and we will get back to you within no time do not forget to log into testacademia.com and go through a multiple packages on various courses of ILTS, PT, GRE, GMAT, TOEFL and you could go through 100 plus pre-recorded lessons with scored full length tests with in-depth evaluations and online tutor support till the time you achieve your desired scores. We are happy to serve you and be a part of your journey while you are preparing for the exam. All the best for your preparation. Thank you so much for your time.